you were at Lake Rant where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Azone. And I wish I had gotten to this sooner. He says, I was going to wait till later to think of something more interesting, but fuck it. It's my birthday and I'm stuck at work. I hate it here and want to use my savings to write a book. But if I leave, then there won't be anyone left to close the store, which will either ruin this Duncan or cause all kinds of hell for my coworkers, some of which I don't hate. So rant about why I should leave this job or why I shouldn't let my coworkers down. I think I already know how you feel, but I just want that one more push. Yeah, obviously I think you should leave your job. I mean, fuck Duncan. I hate fucking Duncan. It's one of the companies that I hate the, world, the most. Um, their food is all fucking disgusting um, and way too expensive. Their coffee sucks. Uh, Duncan is just generally a bad fucking place. And uh, they also, they, they fucking are slowly just taking over all coffee in America. They're becoming the only place other than Starbucks that, that fucking coffee is sold. If you go to Boston, where I lived uh, in Braintree, Duncan was the only thing. There were no other fucking options. It was a sad state of affairs. But yeah, um, I mean, if it causes problems for your coworkers, that's really a managerial issue. It's like if you want to leave, put in your fucking two weeks notice and leave like a normal person and they should be able to fill your spot by the time you you leave. You know, like the, the turnover at a place like Duncan has got to be incredibly fucking high. Um, when it comes to these fast food places. And, you know, everybody else who's working there probably wants the same thing you want. They probably want to leave. And, I mean, frankly, you're probably never going to talk to any of these fucking people again once you leave unless you're actually friends with them, in which case they, you know, I don't think this is such a slap in the face that they'll never talk to you again. And if it is, then fuck them. But, uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely, if you have the money, if you want to go do it. But, I mean... I'll also say that using your money to, uh, using your savings to write a book, I mean, it's a dangerous prospect to just leave your job and go write a book, you know? I mean, you could, you could write it while you're still there, um, you know, write it in your downtime, write it in the, I know how hard it is to actually do creative work when you're, you know, working a full-time job, especially a one like that, you know, but, uh. I just, uh, I would uh, make sure that you've proven to yourself that you are, like, a capable writer. I don't know how you're planning to monetize this work, but it's very difficult to monetize original fiction. So, you know, be ready for the fact that even if you have savings, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to start making money pretty quick, I would say. So, like, you know, if your savings are long enough to last you, like, a whole year, maybe you could take that year off, try to get something off the ground if it doesn't work out. Duncan's an entry-level job. It ain't hard to get hired back, especially if you're a good employee. So, um, you know, or to find an equivalent job somewhere else. But, yeah, I wouldn't encourage anybody to work at a place like Duncan long-term if you didn't like it, you know, which I don't think most people do. Especially if you really do have a creative idea. Run with it. See what happens. If it all fucks up, then uh, come crawling back.